In this video, we will use this get books and we will get the data of all the books from the API. Before working on this get books API, we are having couple of errors in this project and let's fix all of them. So first it is saying that in the recent books, we are having some errors because as of now we have removed this recent books. So let's just comment it. Let's see what else we have. The next error we have over here. So I'm just going to remove this one also because we will fix it in just a couple of bit. It has been compiled successfully and there is no error. Okay, let's go back to our book service and over here we have to start work with this get all books. And before using that, let's run this API project. It is already running and here is the swagger for all the APIs. Okay, we have to use this get all books API. To use this particular API, we have to use this URL. So this is API books and this is the base path. So let's just copy it, go back over here. And here I'm writing this dot HTTP client dot get and here I have to pass the path of the API. So this is the URL and then we have to append this API and the books API and the books and that's it. We have to return it from here. So let's return it. Okay. And again, let's click on this get method definition. So here you will see we are having observable of object. Cool. So what is the return type of this API books? It is going to return a list of all the books and we have already created one book model over here. So here I'm writing observable of all the book model and this is going to be a list. Cool. Now to define it explicitly here, I can make one more change. So over here, I just can define the type of my data. So here in the get, I'm defining what is the type of my data. Cool. We are done with the changes over here in this get books. And if you want to work with the observables, then we have to subscribe it and we can subscribe it wherever we want a list of all the books and we need the list of all the books in the all books pages. So here we are having the components. This is all books over here. We are going to use all books. Now either you can make the call from this ng on in it or it is better to create a private method over here and write get all books. And from this place, let's just use this book service. And we have to subscribe it. Just click on this subscribe. And then we have to write our method over here. This one, this X will contain a list of all the books. So here I'm just going to put a console dot log and just use this X. Cool. Let's remove this thing and let's call this method from the ng on init. So here we are. I'm writing this dot get all books, put a semicolon and that's it. Let's go back to the browser. So here is the browser. And click on this all books. Let's see what we have in the console section. In the console window, you will see we are having an error. It is saying cross origin. So basically what we are doing, we are trying to call some other URL from this 4200. The Angular application port is this 4200 and the API port is this 7287 and they are different URL. And in this case, the browser will block the call from this place to some other place. There are two ways to fix this problem. First is the temporary one and second is the permanent solution. To fix it temporary, we can add one extension in your browser. So let's say here I'm using this Chrome browser and I'm having this extension. So this is the extension for the course and you can go to the store in the browser and just use this extension. So let's enable it over here and let's just refresh it. So this is just a temporary solution. Remember. Okay. So here you will see we are having something on the console and we are having a list of all the books. As of now, we are having only one book in this application. That is why we are getting this one data. So this is a list of all the authors. There is only one single author. Cool. And here is this book ID is published is true. This is the price. Very good. This is the published on title and total pages. If I go to the network tab over here, also you will see we are having this books. If I click on this one, you will see this is something that we have sent from our application. So this is the exact URL. The type is get. So this is the method type and this is the status code that we are getting from the API. This is the remote address. So basically it is localhost and 7287 is the port. Here it is 7287. So these are some policies and here is the response header. To view the response, I can click on this response tab and here is the JSON for this response. 
to preview it properly i can click on this preview tab and here is a formatted preview tab for us so here is the timing to get the response data now we need to display all the books over here and for that let's make some changes in this all books so we were having one variable over here with the name this books and i can assign the list of all the books that you are getting from the api over here so we are getting this list at this place so here i'm writing this dot books is equals to x writing this x is not good we can use some appropriate name so let's use books because it is going to use books we will have the data of all the books over here now let's say what we have on the browser on the browser you will see we are having one card because we are having only one book as of now and it is available over here if you will refresh this page remember earlier we were losing the data but this time we will get this data because this time we are getting it from the api okay now let's try to add one more book from this swagger so this is the swagger endpoint and here is the books go to this post api and try it out cool and here just pass the data so i'm just removing this id because this is going to be auto generated my second book like this total pages are let's say 100 price is inr value is triple nine is published this is the date full name address let's say it is usa okay so we have entered the data and just click on this execute or before that we can add one more author so let's say there are two authors in this book so just copy put a comma and write it again here i'm writing sample two and here i'm writing again let's say it is usa cool let's click on this execute button what do we have we are having the proper data it is 201 it means the record has been created if i go to this book application and just refresh this page this time you will see we are having two books so this is the title my second book total pages are this 100 this is the price is book published true and this is published on and here if you have noticed we are not having the details of the author let's fix that part also so this is the book space over here and we are using this app book card so this is the book card okay and here we are getting the data in this book model cool now go back over here and at this place let's use one more p tag and here let's write the authors and let's just use one more p tag again and for this one i have to run an loop because there is a list of authors so here i'm writing star ng4 let author to make it very simple let's remove all these things from here and let's just use this books so here i'm writing books the type is this book model that's it we have to use this book so we were using the wrong books we have to use this book cool and what is the error we are getting over here so it is saying so instead of using p let's use this pen here let's use this pen also okay and at this place i can write author and if you remember that we have made some changes in this author class over here the author class is having two properties this time if i go to the solution explorer go to the models this author model here we are having three properties this is the id full name and the address let's update our angular application code also so here i'm having this book card and this is the book model but let's get one more model over here with the name author so let's write author dot model dot ts and here i'm writing export interface and over here i will write three properties the first one is id second one is the full name which is going to be of a string type and the third one is address this is also of a string type and if you will focus here we are using the camel case but in the dot net code we are using the pascal case the conversion will happen automatically you do not have to worry about that cool now let's use this author model over here in this 
book model so this is the book model and this is a list of all the authors very good let's import it we are done now let's go back to this book card and over here from this author dot i can use the full name also i can call the address so let's say this is the address just save all the changes and go back to the browser this time so here you will see that in this authors list you are having this nitis and the india this is the address and here we are having two authors this is the first one and this is the second one to differentiate in between them you, you can apply the design or let's use this in an bracket cool so this is the name of the author and this is the address here is the name of the second author and this is the address this is how you can communicate with the get api in angular application using the http client